In this video, you'll see how to write equations to represent a situation with two or three unknowns, and how to use these equations to solve problems. Sometimes there is more than one unknown in a problem scenario. You can use systems of equations to solve for more than one unknown variable in a situation. Once you have written the system of equations, you can solve for the variables by graphing or by using algebraic methods, such as substitution or elimination. Let's look at an example problem with more than one unknown. Tickets to the zoo cost $8 per child and $12 per adult. The zoo sold $5,500 in tickets yesterday. Which equation models the ticket sales for yesterday? What are the unknowns in this problem? What would you need to know in order to calculate the total ticket sales? In order to calculate the total ticket sales, you would need to know how many child and adult tickets were sold. So the unknowns are the number of child tickets sold and the number of adult tickets sold. These are what the variables will represent. How do you calculate total ticket sales? The total ticket sales is the total price of all the child tickets sold plus the total price of all the adult tickets sold. To find the total price of the child tickets, multiply $8 by the number of child tickets sold. To find the total price of the adult tickets, multiply $12 by the number of adult tickets sold. So, 8 times C plus 12 times A equals 5,500, with C and A being the number of child and adult tickets sold, respectively. The choices use the variables X and Y. You don't know which variable is for child tickets and which is for adult tickets, but you can look to see which matches the equation you wrote. The third choice, 8X plus 12Y equals 5,500 is correct. In this case, X is the number of child tickets sold and Y is the number of adult tickets sold. Now, let's look at the next part of the problem. If 125 more child tickets than adult tickets were sold, how many adult tickets were sold yesterday? Let's write an equation to represent this. Use X as the number of child tickets and y as the number of adult tickets in order to be consistent with the first equation. Now, rewrite the statement with variables. 125 more child tickets than adult tickets were sold can be rewritten as 125 more y than x. There are more y than x, so 125 must be added to y in order to get x. The equation is x equals y plus 125. This equation and the previous equation form a system of equations that can be used to determine the values of x and y. To find the solution to the system, you can graph the equations and see where they intersect, or you can use an algebraic method to solve. Let's go with an algebraic method. Since x is by itself on one side in one of these equations, let's use substitution. Substitute y plus 125 in for x into the other equation. Distribute the 8. Combine the y terms. Subtract 1000 from each side and divide both sides by 20. This means the number of adult tickets sold was 225. Let's look at another example. Mark and a group of friends are having a tic-tac-toe competition. Each person plays every other person one time and the players are ranked on a point system. If you win the game, you get two points. If you tie the game, you get one point. And if you lose the game, you get zero points. Let x be the number of games Mark won, y be the number of games he tied, and z be the number of games he lost. 
which equation models the possible number of wins, ties, and losses Mark might have had if he earned a total of 19 points. The unknowns in this problem are already stated and have variables assigned. They are the number of wins, the number of ties, and the number of losses. Write an equation for his total number of points. To find a player's total points, multiply their wins by 2, their ties by 1, and their losses by 0. Then add these up to find the total points. This can be represented by 2x plus 1y plus 0z equals 19. Since 1y is the same thing as y and 0 times anything is 0, this can be simplified to 2x plus y equals 19, which is the first choice. Would it have been possible for Mark not to have tied any games? The number of tied games is y. To answer the question, substitute 0 for y. This equation has a decimal solution for x. Since you can't win only a portion of a game, the solution would not make sense in the context. So no, it is not possible not to have tied any games if he earned 19 points. Suppose Mark played a total of 15 games and he won twice as many games as he lost. How many games did he win? This gives us more information that can be used to write new equations for the system. If Mark played a total of 15 games, then x plus y plus z equals 15. If Mark won twice as many games as he lost, then x equals 2z. So, with the original equation, you now have a system of three equations for three unknowns. Start by using substitution. Substitute 2z in for x in the first equation. This simplifies to 3z plus y equals 15. You can also substitute 2z in for x in the other equation. This simplifies to 4z plus y equals 19. You can then use elimination. Subtract the equation 3z plus y equals 15 from the equation 4z plus y equals 19. When you subtract the equations, you get that z equals 4. That means Mark lost 4 games. Since he won twice as many games as he lost, he won 8 games. This answers the question. Now you know more about how to write equations to represent a situation with two or three unknowns and how to use these equations to solve problems. Thanks for watching.